Alrighty friends, I got a big problem here at my office. I need your help to fix it. So I gave you a little preview of this in the last video, but uh, I got a call from Walmart and they said they had some seeds they were gonna throw away. They knew we did the community garden. They were wondering if we might want 10 boxes of seeds. And I was thinking, yeah, you know, like be these small boxes like you see on the shelf. And yeah, of course we take 10 boxes of seeds, no problem. I went and it wasn't 10 boxes. It was like, it was 10 cases of mixed up seeds. And it was uh, quite an ordeal sorting them all. Let me show you what we got. My whole office is literally just seeds everywhere. This is all, this is just flowers. And then there's more flowers over here. Look at all of these. And then of course over here, like the whole part of this is all flowers. Give you the close up here. Look at all those flower seeds. And then we have all the vegetables, which are actually sorted out now in nice piles. Uh, we're getting them boxed up. So these are like all cold weather crops, kales and lettuces and all that kind of stuff. We got beets, we got okra, we got like everything you could ever imagine. All the different melons. This is all just like probably 25 different varieties of radishes, all the different uh, herbs. Then of course, all your traditional stuff as well. Whole box of carrots and cucumbers, green beans, a whole case of peas, a whole case of summer squash, all different kinds. We got corn, we got sunflowers, we got, oh, those are more herbs, pumpkins, tomatoes. I'm talking to absolutely everything. And we have a big community garden, but um, we could plant the community garden probably a hundred times over with this many seeds. So it's like, it, it's a big, it's an issue here. <laughs> I don't want these to go to waste. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them all away, or most of them. We'll keep some for the community garden, but I'd like to give most of them away to all of you gardeners out there. So here's the plan. We're starting community work days in the garden this Saturday at eight o'clock. So if you wanna come out and help us plan it out, we have several rows already planted, but we're gonna direct sow a lot of crops now that the weather is changed and we are moving towards summer, all the frost, all that stuff, that's over for the year. So we can like, we can plant without any reservations at this point. So we'll be putting tomatoes in the ground, cucumbers, uh, all those zucchinis and summer squashes. Uh, what else are we gonna do? We have some things to transplant still, I believe, and um, yeah, probably more that I'm forgetting. But we'd like to plant at least the whole front of the garden, and then we can start working on the back rows in the coming weeks. But uh, if we can get all of that planted, uh, man, it'll make a big difference in a very short period of time. So if you can come and help us on Saturday morning, uh, we would love to have your help, whether for 30 minutes or for three hours, um, anything will help. And that will entitle you to as many free seeds as you would like. <laughs> For those of you that aren't able to come but you still want seeds, you can uh, stop by my office, which is State Farm in downtown Catanning. Uh, I'll be here from 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. Uh, you can stop in. You can take whatever seeds that you would like. And then um, if you want to make a donation for like a portion of the cost of the seeds, we'll put 100% of the money that you donate uh, towards the community garden. And so it'll help us to build infrastructure that we want to do there. We'd like to build some beautiful herb gardens. We'd may, like to maybe have some kind of a, a, a tunnel to grow in there at some point to like be able to extend our season earlier into the spring and then later into the fall. So all those things are in the works, but all those things take money. Plus we do have water there as well. So, um, so we do need some operating money every year to be able to pay the water bill. Although um, hopefully if we can just get consistent rain, we won't have to water a whole lot. But yeah, there are still times when we need the water in Western Pennsylvania, believe it or not. So that's the seed situation. Would love to have you come and get some of those and to uh, help us in the garden. I'm actually gonna take you over there as well. You can see it through the camera lens and then hopefully you can drop by one of these days and uh, see it for your own eyes. Maybe even come and help us this Saturday. So you can see we got some stuff growing in here. Some that we want growing and some that we don't. <laughs> you can see our walking onions have really taken off. And then these are all the onion starts that our homeschool group uh, started for us. They're looking really good. Also got a little bit of garlic in here. It's looking really nice too. 
I'm most curious to check that out as they grow. I want to start garlic at my house too. I know it's very simple to grow, but at the same time, just uh, just never got to see the whole process happen, which is part of the beauty of volunteering for the community garden. You get to you get to learn some stuff while you're at it. Got some beautiful mesclun mix lettuce coming in here too, along with some kale. And then we got a lot of rows we need to prep. So all these rows growing stuff are just, uh, just weeds in here. So all this needs to come out. We'll prep these and then plant them, hopefully all in the same day. And we got some nice lettuce that we can transplant to another row because it just doesn't belong here. That's left over from last year. You guys might remember from previous videos too, we got our uh, water fixed, so there's no longer a leak in here. At least uh, we think there's no longer a leak. It's all good so far. Huge shout out to Nate and Kelly Johnston. They came out and helped us with that. Uh, Nate dug all those rocks out of there. He dug down, uh, did the repair, like the whole deal. They did an amazing job. A lot of time and energy and expertise that we just didn't have. And so without volunteers like them, you know, we would be further behind than we are right now. But uh, we're primed, we're ready to go we can get plants in the ground and know that they're gonna get water uh, because of those two so shout out to you guys they also put the rocks that they dug up and put them here right below the spigot so when it when it goes down now it won't like splash dirt and uh, stuff everywhere that was pretty smart nice touch for the garden and so if you'll just dream with me a little bit we got the two rows of lettuce here we got the two rows of onions on the side imagine what it's gonna look like with trellis tomatoes trellis cucumbers zucchini and squash and maybe even some more lettuce carrots beets maybe an asparagus patch maybe we start on this lot over here and we grow a nice little herb garden we put in some flowers like the possibilities are endless my friends it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be wonderful and it'll come even faster the more people that we have to come and help so once again we'd love to have you join us this coming saturday and probably just about most saturdays after now we'll have some summer serve mixed in there obviously coming up in June, July, and August, but we're gonna be focusing heavily on this property. We want it to be an awesome addition to the community and we could really use your help. So uh, if you haven't followed Katani Community Garden on Facebook, I highly suggest that you do that. You can stay uh, really up to date on all of the happenings here and uh, upcoming work days as well. We'd love to have you connected on there and we'd love to have you come down, learn to grow, um, grab some free seeds and uh, let's, let's make this a really sustainable, uh, healthy community.